we should be able to allow those people who do have religious views, I'm not, I'm not a particularly religious person, I would say I'm not religious at all, but I understand it because you know, I didn't grow up in this country, I grew up in a very religious country, so I understand what it means to people and, and how it can impact the way that they live their lives. And to stop people from saying what they really feel, uh, I think is, is overly draconian. Uh, and I, um, I actually admire her for not being dishonest. It'd be very easy for her to tell lies just so that she could win that election. And she's not doing that. And I think that that's something that people need to take into account. I do think that those people who are withdrawing support from her, well, I would ask, why did you support her in the first place? Because I don't think that what she's saying is new. And, and it, I think it shows a level of unseriousness of many of the people who engage in political uh, activity and commentary where they're not, they don't take things seriously in terms of why am I supporting this person? And they, they will support someone because of their gender or their race rather than because the person's views actually chime with theirs. And we need to think about what people actually believe and the political principles that they're operating from rather than anything superficial. And that's why um, the last 24 hours have panned out the way that they have. Equally, there will be lots of people in this country who would like to hear the Minister for Equalities condemn the sorts of views that Kate Forbes has put forward today. Would you do that? Um, no. I will say that I support, I personally support same-sex marriage. I think it's disappointing if people don't. I think always it's disappointing when people don't agree with me. But I would not want people to condemn me for having personal views. Disagree with the views, debate the views. But if you are asking me to condemn someone for their religious views, then you do not understand what the Minister of Equality's role is. I am the guardian of the Equality Act. Freedom of religion is one of the protected characteristics. To ask me to criticize someone for their religious beliefs when I'm supposed to be safeguarding it shows that those people don't understand equality. What they want is to use the Equality Act as a sword to fight their own personal battles rather than as a shield to prevent others from discrimination. So no, I won't do that.